Hey, what's up? Welcome back, Nunder Boy, Nunder Son. Once if Nunder Son has a son, would that be Nunder Son? Nunder Son? Wait, I was supposed to make something. All right, we're gonna be fighting some galactic bosses, aka this boss and the other boss that's similar to it. So, where do we fight him? Does it matter where we fight? You just gotta fight him at night. If I, if I am correct, I don't know. Oh, why is there so many? <laughs> I'm very sorry, uh, my boys. I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, a couple of you might be RIPing, but it's all for a good cause. Did I drink this or not? Alright. We got this under control. We just need to do a lot of damage, alright? Don't cover these out because they latch on. And then do a couple of these. Somebody keeps on asking me if this weapon inflicts Icor. I don't think it does. Because it looks like I have multiple weapons that inflict Icor, and I don't know which one. It might just be like something I have on me that inflicts it. Ooh, this hurts too. There's so many things I have to fly around. Jesus Christ. We got it though. We got it. Ooh. We good. Immunity frames just saved me right there. Sorry. <laughs> just had a just had a pass by real quick. Sorry up here too, just have to pass by. Oh, you guys got luck. Well, some of you did. There's so many balls everywhere. Jesus Christ. There's so many balls. I hate when I when that phrase comes out of my mouth. Alright, let's try this. Bomb this boy. Oh my god, look how many knives are coming out. Oh my god, that was a lot of knives. Alright, back to the Terra Lance. Or Great Lance of Terra. Whatever, you know what? Nearly the same thing. Nearly the same thing. That's all that matters. Listen, I don't know. I need to do a DPS test on a dump. I just want to see the best damaging weapon. I would either guess this or the Great Lance. But I always question it. it feels like this. Not, I don't know. They're both pretty damn good. I can't lie. Alright, so there you go. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Got the Astral Bulwark. Taking damage drops. Astral Stars. I don't care. There is some ex accessory upgrading that I need to get done. But I will focus on that later. So for now. Bunny Hood. Steampunk goggles. Look at all this stuff I got. From all the NPCs dying. Is it a vanilla item? I mean, you know, I feel like it fits him. Honestly, I feel like that fits him wearing that. So we're gonna stuff these in here. Wait, I didn't mean to do that actually. Oh fuck, what's the name of the this fragment? Oh shit, what's the name of the loot? <laughs> I forgot. I needed to use it to see recipes. All right, well, maybe we can just use the bars themselves. Cause we gotta make the, the slime, the gel. And I'm pretty sure it requires this. Is this the stuff you drop? I don't know. Astral chunk. So we need stardust, just 10 of these. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. I don't remember how hard this boss is at all. Oh, what am I doing in there? I don't remember how hard this boss is at all. We actually, we're going to talk to the cyborg um, after we kill this boss. But uh, let's, let's go back over here. And uh, I'm sorry, NPCs, again, if you guys take any damage from this. But uh, just know it's for a good cause, all right? Spawn right on. We're going to use this. We're just going to drop a million bombs million daggers. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is how you do it right here. If I'm close enough for all the daggers to hit, the boss is probably dead already. But the daggers, they shoot upwards. What am I supposed to do about that? Alright, that was way easier than Ashton Deus. Deus? I think it's Deus. So God bless that boss's soul for what it had to bear right there. Okay. So that's done. Good job, me. You're welcome. So let's talk to my boy, C, Sai, Chi, I don't know, whatever you want to pronounce it. Now he has an item in here. Boom. Cybernetic spheres transforms you into a robotic ball. When transformed, you can fit through two block tall gaps and cling to walls and ceilings. That's another transformation down. So we got three transformations now. Coleop, Col Coleopo, Coleoptera. I think the T sound. No, P sounds. So it'd be like Coldioterra. I don't know. Magma Charm and Cybernetic Sphere. 
let's see the cybernetic screen action it's like oh yeah look metroid ball you know i'm just metroid ball on the on the floor and then it's like this you ready that's fucking crazy that's so cool i don't it's kind of weird how it works you think you just walk up to it and press like up you just gotta like you have to hold space and then you just is it pretty much like flying no because you stay up there it's pretty much like an anti-grav potion though this is some crazy shit right here don't hurt me i'm having troubles going up here who yeah it, it doesn't really work that well it comes to getting up a slope like this come on no don't fly off i want you to go up and around yeah you're close you're close it just goes back i don't know why it just goes back when i try and go up it oh look at this oh my god this is crazy there's some crazy shit you can do with this dude there's some crazy shit it may not be useful shit you can do with it but it's, it's pretty crazy you can make some secret bases you can make some obstacle courses i don't know guys that's pretty dope so moving on uh you know might as well show off the other ones this one can fit through one by one blocks i don't know if i have a good example somewhere right here good example shit that was bad that was not good okay hold up there you go look at me squirm under that block crazy uh obviously downside to these transformations you can't uh use items and stuff but that's fine you can close doors that's amazing and then we got this one fits through two block high and can fly uh, i don't think it flies infinitely yeah it doesn't kind of sucks i mean it's balance i guess i don't know for how late in the game you get it it's kind of eh. it's kind of eh. you know what i'm saying eh. all right so there's a good bit of uh golem weapons we can make here and i don't know what i want to make let's see here so we got there's these the sun dagger that's not hard to make at all and i'm pretty sure it's a consumable like you keep it keep well i guess like all throwing weapons are consumables but you keep this one you don't just throw it once and it's done there's also the kuna the kukris not kunais solar pebbles i do have a couple solar pebbles hmm i kind of want to make the sun dagger i feel like that'd be better and there's also the sun shard now i was told there's weapons and sacred tools after the golem too but i don't know how to get them oh i think it's made out of lizard blocks i don't know if it was armor or if it's tools let's let's check real quick just quick quick check it's just gonna take a second to run over here because luckily we have the beautiful pixel luckily for us wasn't i supposed to fight the golem last episode i don't think i did fight golem last episode i thought i was supposed to fight them i think i fought planetary last episode but not the golem all right it's fine let's peep let's well let's just look at everything here first so we got the lizard armor from spirit mod pretty good 24 defense and chest plate is crazy the so daggers and spear i think we'll skip those uh because i think i'd rather have the thorium ones so let's check out this oh look at all that beautiful furniture i don't see any armor oh wait lizard lizard bars there's the armor mm, it's not as good as the other thing though the weapons look cool though let's start okay the question is, do we even have enough for this armor? No, we don't. So it might be easier to actually do this one. So let's start with this first. Let's see if we can make the sun dagger. Ah, oh, it is a fucking consumable, dude. It didn't look like it. Super hot, super hot. Indeed. Okay. Um. And then from there, we have chlorophyte. So let's make chlorophyte. Or we have the we have chlorophyte ore, so let's make chlorophyte bars and then stuff this in there and stuff all of it in there uh and then we will make the let's make kukris first because we're gonna test out a bunch of these and then let's make i don't remember i don't remember the name of the armor uh let's give me a block real quick are we in the right thing let's see i don't i don't remember where the h is so i gotta look at the table real quick figure out where that h is in lizard it says lizard bars and it? yeah it is okay we good that's easy i could have guessed that boom there's the bars they're not here 
What the fuck? Why is the recipe the recipe isn't staying, dude? No, we can just check like this. We can check like this. Just do it like that. Do it like this. Boom. We need a furnace. Okay. We have one. I think. I hope. Yes we do. Alright. This is a furnace. Switch out the crystal ball. There we go. We are good now. We are where the hell is it? It's somewhere here. I'm just I'm not seeing it. There it is. We're good. Now how much do we need? Let me check. We are gonna need twenty sixty-five. No, a hunt that's a hundred. Okay, I know they're easy to get, but chlorophyte isn't exactly easy to get. Oh my god, okay. How much can we make right now? 18. And plus, we still need the everything else. Alright, you know, I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully I have gathered up enough material. No, let me rephrase that. Hopefully I hath gathereth enough -eth materials. I'm trying to work on my uh, medieval role-playing. I don't know what for, though. Uh, so let's make all of this. I like how it looks, though. It looks cool. It looks like you're kind of just putting stone over your body, though. So I don't know how that would work. Alright, what were the weapons? It was Trinity and... Something else. Uh, let's get a block. I'll make it easier than just guessing. I mean, I'd probably be better to guess, you know? It'd be more fun. Soul Matrix and Trinity. Let's start with the Trinity, because that one looks like you keep it. Boom. We don't have enough of the other ones. <laughs> it's fine, you know, it's fine. Let's reforge this. It's reforgeable. Alright, let's see, let's see the difference here. 69 defense. 80. 295 throwing damage. Oh. That's a big drop off. Defense versus damage. I mean, I'm a thrower. I don't think it matters that much. Let's get speed though. That would help. Staunch though. You throw this pretty fast. Never mind. We're good. Alright. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide like what armor I should keep or not keep. Can I hold up? Not chlorophyte. What the fuck? Can I not make more? What am I missing to make more? Because I do want to see the other weapon. I'm missing chlorophyte. I think. I don't know. Just like, do that a couple times. And we should have chlorophyte chilling in here. Hooray for that. Hooray for those farmers. Those are useful. Go get that mod. It's not oh, cheating. It's nearly cheating. But it's not Louis AFK cheating. So you're good. Um, let's see here. What, what are we doing? Lizard... Back, back to making lizard bars. That has to be enough. There's no way that's not enough. It's 25. Yes. Oh, and they're both uh, like ones you keep. Okay, so we got a bunch of new throwing weapons here. I'm going to get rid of the harpy days. And I'm going to get rid of the deadly death grip. I really like the death grip. Well, one of these we're going to get rid of, but I want to test them. Probably the kukris. But let me reforge it, you know, because it is reforgeable. Might as well do it. I probably should be saving money. What was the first reforge? I, I felt like the first reforge was good. No, that works. All right, so let's let's test out these two first. I don't know what boss, but let's test them out. Hopefully, whatever boss it is isn't too crazy. Some NPCs moving. Y'all moving? Who's the new guys? Uh, let's see here. What boss would be a good boss to fight? I don't know. I guess one of the, one of these two. Okay, so we'll head over here. I, I should have just flew there. It wasn't that far. It's nighttime. Zoom out, and let's let's fight one. We're gonna use the daggers on these boys. Now, I don't know exactly what they do. It looks like there's a lot of shit going on when you use these. Yeah, they look pretty good. But I don't know about good enough for me to use over and over again. Alright, let's switch to these. Shout out Captain Bully Ward. I don't know how you arrived at nighttime. Okay, these don't seem like the greatest. Just because it looks like they're arcing his ass. Their damage looks good. But do you see the arc on the throw? It's so, like, low down. I don't know if I fuck with that. Alright, now let's do these two. What 
the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's try a uh, Skeletron now, and we'll use the Trinity on him. They all do the same. Thing. Oh wait, it must be the set bonus. Yeah, fireballs. Okay, I was about to say like, do all these bonus do the same thing? Okay, this is not as crazy. What is this one? Those two javelins at once. So that means I throw six javelins. Oh, way more than six. Um, but per javelin, it's another three. So it'd be six per javelin. And then multiply that. Times three. That's like eighty-seven. Just kidding. Uh, so this one doesn't end this one a fire powered shocker. I guess destroyer is like his main parts are down there. Alright, let's switch back to this. Let's give let's redeem the sun deck. I mean it does good damage, but I still don't feel like it's deserving. It deserves to be in my image. I don't think any of these two deserve to. Sun dagger is kinda hard to make, not really. It's actually not that hard to make but i don't know i kind of fuck with just having these two and these two were nice to show off but uh, i think that's gonna end this episode off we killed two bosses two galactic theme bosses uh it's like where's my phone 648 but don't worry it's part of my regular sleeping schedule being up this late uh i hope you guys enjoyed <sighs> my name is thunderson no it's not it's game readers